All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So I was basically ready to go to sleep here. Actually, you know what? I was already half asleep, but then we got a data download on Global, which revealed to us something pretty interesting, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, first things first, let's start here with the Halloween free-to-play Grandpa Gohan and GT Pan. We now have all their details, so let's quickly go over that. So their leader skill after Dokkan Awakening, it's going to be Kamehameha Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack, raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and their passive is Attack plus 80% when performing a Super Attack, great chance of an additional 80% attack, and then defense plus 20% with each Super Attack performed up to 80%. So after 4 Supers, they would get the full 80% defense boost, and then key plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when there is another Goku's family category ally attacking in the same turn, recovers HP with candy. So overall, like I said, um, as I expected, it's, it's a very solid free-to-play unit. Definitely not something that I would necessarily run like all the time, but uh, you know, a good filler for anybody that you know needs one and uh, you know, they're good. They're going to do some good damage. Uh, defensively, might be lacking a little bit until you, you know, get a few supers off. But uh, I like it. I really do. Now, links are Courage, On the Family, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Kamehameha, and Shattering the Limit. So that is the uh, GT Pan and Grandpa Gohan. Like I said, very random units, but I really don't mind it. I'm glad that they're willing to, you know, kind of release these non-canon... Uh, units maybe it's a precedent for a president a precedent for future units that are also you know a little bit out of the realm of um, normalcy but uh, I feel like they might just keep it to these special occasions like Halloween or April Fools or something like that but I'm I'm definitely down for stuff like this okay so that is the new Halloween unit for uh, this year now as far as the extreme Z awakenings go we do know that we're going to be getting EZAs for the Tech Candy Vegito, as well as the uh, Int, Gotenks, and Ghost. I covered all their details in a previous video, so I'll link it above my head. Feel free to go check that out. And uh, it will be through an Extreme Z area where we get their Extreme Z Awakening medals. Okay, so uh, from there, let's talk about the interesting thing that I mentioned earlier in the video. And that would be this right here. Okay, so after the uh, data download, there was this Halloween ticket that was added to the global database. And it says here, Halloween ticket, summon ticket for Halloween Dokkan Festival. Okay, Halloween Dokkan Festival valid until uh, November 12th, 2020 at 15.59 PST. Okay, so uh, when I first saw this, I mean, when I first saw the ticket, I was like, okay, another ticket. I mean, I wasn't surprised we got one last year, probably going to be for like a Legendary Summon Banner or something like that. But then I read it and it says Halloween Dokkan Festival. So I'm like, okay, so we're getting a new Dokkan Festival for Halloween this year. And there's only really two realistic options. It's not going to be, um, you know, the LR Blue Boys or uh, Gotenks and Boo would have like an A and B ticket. So it's not that either. So the only, I guess, real options we have... No, really, there's only one option. No, it would be the Angel Golden Frieza, right? I mean, what else would there be? I mean, some people were like, oh, Gogeta. It's going to be Super Saiyan for Gogeta. But Gogeta, I'm pretty sure, doesn't release on Global, or JP, rather, until the beginning of November or end of November, or end of October. So we're still at least like a week um, away, minimum, right? So, yeah, the only Dokkan Fest unit that would make sense right now would be Angel Golden Frieza, unless... We get a global first um, Dokkan Fest unit, and in that case, it could be anything, I guess, because, I mean, as you guys saw, right, JP is getting the LR Turles Army, or Turles Squad, and it's not really, you know, fitting the theme of, like, Tournament of Power or anything like that. It's just a kind of a random drop, which I don't mind at all, but, you know, from that, you can tell that, like, Bandai doesn't really care about themes too much, so... Um, it could be something Boo Saga related, but it could also be almost anything else. So if we do get a global first here, which I think is very unlikely, right? I, I, like, I hope it is, 
that's like the best case scenario for me, but I just think it's very, very, a very low chance of that happening. Um, yeah, so besides that, it's probably going to be Angel Golden Frieza. So either way, guys, we have a Halloween Tokon Festival on the way. We'll get more details, of course, once, um, you know, we get the news drop uh, in about roughly 15, 16 hours or so from the time this video comes out. And uh, yeah, once that comes out, we'll know exactly what's happening, what's going to come. But right now, we have no information. There wasn't anything in the data download that would indicate, like, a specific unit dropping on global soon. So, um, you know, until then, there's not much else to say. Halloween, Dokkan Festival ticket. Now, as far as the ticket goes, it is going to be a Pilaf's Trove thing. Or at least, you know, based on previous years, it's going to be a Pilaf's Trove item. So, you'll have to buy it with money. So, for free to play players, it's not really, you know, a concern for you, but uh, if you are pay to play and you're, you know, willing to spend a bit of money, then this is probably going to be one of those uh, tickets that you can use for a 20 unit multi where you have like, you know, a guaranteed featured unit or three uh, featured SSRs, not featured, sorry, three SSRs guaranteed or something to that effect, just like we had for last year's Halloween and also the uh, Gohan banner, right, that we just had. So, uh, yeah, ticket on the way, easy A's for Candy, Vegito, and Ghost Tanks, and uh, also the free-to-play uh, Grandpa Gohan and GT Pan, of course. Is there anything else I'm missing? I'm trying to think. Um, just because we didn't get anything in the data download for this, it doesn't mean that we're not going to be getting, you know, a new World Tournament, because a World Tournament could be happening in like a week, right? And we might get a data download for that later down the road, same thing for a new unit, just because we didn't get a new unit in this data download for global doesn't mean that we can't get another data download like tomorrow or in a couple days before the banner comes out to add that stuff into our database, okay? So just because we have the three free-to-play units and also, or the two awakenings and the one, you know, new free-to-play unit and also the ticket doesn't mean that uh, we're not getting anything new, so I mean, I mean, just the fact that we're, we have the Halloween ticket that says Halloween Dokkan Festival should mean, yeah, we're getting something, right? So, I don't want to say specifically anything. Like, I do think it's very, very likely to be the Angel Golden Frieza at this point, but it could be something else. So, we'll have to just wait and see. Like I said, news will be dropping in-game in about 16 hours, 18 hours or so. So, of course, once that becomes available, I'll make another video, keep you guys posted. But uh, let me know in the comments down below, actually, what do you guys think this ticket's for? Like, what banner do you think this ticket's for? Because, um, I didn't necessarily see this coming. I mean, like I said, I saw the ticket coming, I just didn't see it saying Halloween Dokkan Festival. And there's not really a lot of options. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. But, uh, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys as always. And, uh, until next time, uh, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Uh, until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.